Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today for a liquid lipstick wear test. Now, I've been doing these for quite some time. I've got a playlist. It'll be linked in the description box, but essentially I like to test out sort of long wearing, especially matte liquid lipsticks, um, just to see how I like them, how they wear, how they, you know, wear after eating, etc, etc. Um, so I'm trying something a bit different today. This is like a long wear matte liquid lipstick, but it's like a lip pigment. It, it's very different from those really setting, long wearing sort of traditional matte liquid lipsticks. So this is by NARS. It's a brand new Power Matte, I think it's called. Yeah, Power Matte Lip Pigment. So that's the box. All right, so the shade that I'm going to be testing out is London Calling. Now the website describes this as being a lilac pink, which I don't, I don't really see. For me, it is more like a dark, mauvey nude, um, almost a cool toned kind of thing going on. So I don't know where they got lilac pink. Um, let's have a look guys, that's it. So it's super pigmented, but it's a very, very, very thin formula. So it's different to, yeah, those kind of thicker liquid lipsticks that set really well. This is more like, I don't know, like a fluid. Um, I don't know if you can see as well, it starts to bleed into lines a little bit. So um, it is definitely more runnier than any liquid lipstick I've used. Also the Doe Foot applicator is a customized one for NARS. It's just like a point. Um, so it can help with more like precision um, applying. Now in Australia, this does retail for $38 at Mecca. Um, there's 19 shades available. The shades are actually really interesting. Like I said, they've got some kind of interesting sort of more unique nudes like this. Um, I was gonna get a beautiful dark brown. It was out of stock, but they've got a really nice, like uh, unique sort of nudes and also some bright colors and they've got a black. So it's an interesting shade range. So you do get 5.5 mils of product in here, which is not too bad. Um, especially since it's so ruddy, you'll get a lot of applications out of it. So it's quite good. You do need to like shake it before you use it. And I don't know if you can hear, I'll try to, I'll try to get up close. Can you hear the water? It's so liquidy. It's so liquidy. All right. So in the US, these retail for $26 each. And essentially the product claims to just be really, really pigmented, really matte, lightweight, um, have like a zero gravity feel, um, and have like an ultra flexible sort of formula that is long wearing and doesn't, I guess it doesn't flake off and, um, wear off patchy and do all those kind of things. That's my assumption, but it's supposed to be, yeah, lightweight texture, applies like an ink on the lips, dries down to lock in the formula, smudge resistant, carefree wear, matte, bam. That's what it's supposed to be. A lot of claims. Um, and let's see if that is the case. Now you can see on my hand that it has dried down completely matte. So that is definitely true. I have worn this a couple of times, so I have an impression of it already. This is not first impressions. Um, I'm going to put this on now um, and I'm going to wear this for a couple of hours without eating or drinking. So we can check back in and see how it wears if you don't eat or drink. And then I'll check back in after I have eaten and had something to drink. And then I'll just wear it until it wears. Um, I can tell you right at this point in time, it is 12, 12. So I'm going to wear this for as long as I can. Um, once it starts getting to a point that I would want to reapply it, that's when I'm going to stop this little test thing. Okay, time to apply it and I might zoom in a bit, but I do want to say that one thing I have noticed is because this is so runny, um, you need to be quite precise with it. I did try to apply this in the car one day and I had the worst time ever because this isn't like a mousse that you can kind of just like um, move around your lips. If you put a little bit wrong or a little bit wonky, it just, it's a mess. So this is the formula does make it very unique, but it also makes it a little bit temperamental, I guess. Is that the right word? I don't know. Um, but yeah, you have to be careful when applying it, especially if you're in the car. This is not a great thing to apply when you're a passenger in the car. All right, as per normal, I have not done anything to my lips. It's got a bit of foundation on it, whatever. Uh, let's have a close up look at the wand. Um, you can see the color as well. I don't know how that's lilac pink but there's a swatch close up as well. All right, let's do it. Super, super runny, super pigmented though. See what I mean? Like you can get a little bit just, it's yeah, it's very runny and very messy. 
This tip is really good for lining though, so you can really go in there just with the tip and line the lips, which is probably the best way to apply this. That's pretty easy. All right, that was just one dip with the wand. Now, I didn't have enough to sort of put as much on this side as I'd like to, so I'm just gonna go in just in the very lid part there, just to get a little bit more on the wand, because I feel like there's a lot more product there, not much here. All right, so that is it applied. That's just one layer. So I didn't go in and build up the layer. You can see that it is a really precise application. So this is why applying it in the car or on public transport, it can get really messy. You really do need a steady hand to make it look quite crisp. Um, and if it's not crisp, you can notice it. It's not like um, a kind of creamy, um, moussey pro product that you can kind of move around. Once it's on there, like it doesn't set straight away, but um, you can move it around, but you can see the really precise line because it's so pigmented and so runny. So I would even kind of compare this to a liquid liner of the lip world, I guess. Um, it's very pigmented, very runny, um, and you kind of have to be a bit careful with it, but that's a look. Um, it's quite nice. It, I don't believe it's transfer proof. Let's test it. Yeah not transfer proof. So it's not designed to be one of those completely setting ones. It's just um, a really matte finish and it's supposed to be long wearing. All right, so that's on the lips. I like it. It feels nice. It's not too dry. It doesn't cling to dry patches. Um, it doesn't have a powdery finish. Like I said, it's not transfer resistant, but it's quite comfortable. Um, it's a little bit, you can feel it's a little bit tacky and I'm hoping that means that it means it lasts a long time. Whenever I have worn this, I've sort of worn it before going out to eat. So I haven't seen its full potential of how it lasts throughout the day. I've kind of just seen how it lasts through a meal. But um, yeah, I love this color. I still don't get how this is a lilac pink. It's not, but it's a really cool color and the formula is very different to a lot of things that I have in my collection. So what I'll do is I will check back in a couple of hours. I'll let you know how it's going um, and then we'll see how it wears throughout the day. All right, so it's been over two hours and it's wearing fine. I'm just gonna get my mirror. Yeah, I've not touched it at all and it does have like that kind of rim. It's starting to kind of crack around the edges. Um, I think it's set even better than before. See, like there's less of a kiss mark. Ignore my computer. Uh, let's zoom in. All right, so you can see that it's sort of like, starts to go into the creases, which is not a big deal, um, but it is starting to like separate and almost looks like it cracks around the lips a bit. So still wearing well, it feels comfortable. It's not, um, drying it's fine like i said it doesn't really transfer much at this stage so it is quite budge proof but i reckon this will break down really quickly with food all right i'm back it is two hours later show it there we go nearly 4 30. um so i've had this on for what is it just over four hours um i have had lunch and you can see that it's starting to wear off um the inner rim particularly the outer part's fine but it is like you need to touch up in there. Now, the benefit of that is, um, well, the benefit of the formula is that you can easily put another layer on because it's so thin and it's not really, um, it doesn't set down really, really dry, so it won't look crumbly. So you can just touch that up really easily. Um, but I do want to note as well that I just had toast and a cup of tea. So it's not as if um, like there's only a little bit of butter, there was nothing like greasy. If you had something that was like, you know, a salad with a lot of dressing or a pasta or something, this disappears a lot faster. So more of it disappears. So um, yeah, I'm not loving it, but it's definitely, like I'm not loving how it's wearing off, but I do know that it's definitely a product that you can touch up easily. Um, like uh, I have one Jeffree Star liquid lipstick that I did a review on, like one of these wear tests, and that one was horrible at touching up because it would go crumbly. And when you touch it up, it'd just kind of um, 
get even chunkier and more disgusting. So this one's not like that. This is definitely one you can touch up easily. But at the four hour mark, just after eating and having a cup of tea, um, I don't love how this is wearing off. It's looking fine. And if I was just at work or something, I'd be like, I don't really care. Um, but in the scheme of things, it's there's better products out there for longevity. All right, so I've had this on for close to seven hours. I have had um, a bit of dinner, so um, this is what it's more like after you eat more of a substantial meal. So um, yeah, it, oh, I've got food in my face. That's attractive, <laughs> jeez. Yeah, so you can see that it's still on there, um, but it's definitely worn off a lot on the inner portion. It is, it is what it is. All right, so I reckon overall, I don't mind this stuff. I think it's very different to other liquid lipsticks. And I think the really thin formula is very unique. It's definitely more like, not a stain, but it's got the formula of a stain, like the ruddy formula, but it's super, super opaque. So it reminds me of an ink, I guess. Um, but I think because it is so thin as well on the lips, um, it can break down very easily from oils. So other liquid lipsticks that are much thicker um, and that kind of really set, they tend to hold up a little bit better to food. Not a big deal. Um, and once again, because this is so thin and it's not chunky, um, you can definitely reapply very, very easily. So like, not a problem. Like that was ridiculously easy. So I don't dislike this problem, this product. Um, I don't like how it looks after you eat, but once again, that's a common thing with long wearing lipsticks. They break down, but the fact you can reapply this really easily um, makes it a product that I would probably wear quite, oh, shut up computer. But because this is so easy to touch up and it is very lightweight, it doesn't dry out your lips, it doesn't go chunky. Um, it is something that I'll look at probably getting maybe lighter shades. So when it does wear off, it doesn't look as harsh. But um, I don't, yeah, I don't love the formula. I don't hate the formula. I think it's interesting. Um, and I definitely would try other shades in this. I do like the shade range. There's some beautiful browns, some beautiful kind of unique shades, um, as well as more your typical nudes and reds and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I don't know where I'd put this in the list. I've got my list of the products that I've tried so far. Um, I would say it's probably similar to the Huda Beauty one. It is very thin, similar to the Huda Beauty one. Um, and I think this probably wears better. It's just that that one was... That one was probably, since it was more nude, it doesn't look as harsh when it wears off. So I would say this is somewhere along there, but it's not your traditional long wearing liquid lipstick um, that is sort of budge proof throughout food and drinks and whatnot. As soon as you start drinking and eating, it kind of does wear away um, kind of in, on the inner rim, but it, it does last pretty well. It does look very matte. It is quite budge proof. It is quite, um, comfortable. It doesn't sit down to that really kind of powdery feel, um, but it is a little bit more high maintenance applying it. That's probably the hardest thing about this that you do. You can't just do it on the run. Stop it, computer. You can't just put it on when you're just like running out of the house. You really do have to sit down and line your lips with the tip of the um, wand. But if you've got that time to do it, then it's not a problem and reapplying it is much easier. So um, yeah, I do like this. All right, guys, that was my review of the new NARS, what's it called? Power Matte Lip Pigment. I think it's interesting. I think it's cool. I like this color. Probably not for summer coming up, but um, definitely a good winter shade. So yeah, if you want to see any more of these liquid lipstick wear tests, I do have a playlist that I'll put on the screen. Uh, it's always in the description box as well. And um, I will see you soon for another one. Bye.